Good morning grade nines and today we're going to have a look at the perimeter and the area of circles. Okay, let's have a look. Please remember and jot down the following formulas. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. The same, it's, remember the circumference of a circle is the same as the perimeter of a circle. We just refer to it as the circumference. 2 pi r. And the area of a circle is pi radius squared. All right, please take note. You have to know these formulas. They are basic formula. And um, you have to, we won't give them to you in the exam or in the um, cycle tests. You have to know them off by heart. Right, let's jump into it. Calculate the circumference of the following shape. All right, so they're asking to, um, for you to calculate the perimeter, the circumference of the following shape. Right, they say to you this is a circle, we can see that, and the diameter is 15 centimeters given. Right, let's have a look. The, the formula is of a full circle is 2 times pi times radius, also sometimes just written as 2 pi r, doesn't matter, but remember when they stand next to each other, they're vibing, they're multiplying, so you multiply them with each other. Very important, please note that the diameter was given, and in our formula, we refer to... Um, when we use a circle, we use the radius. So we need to change the diameter so that we have the radius. And how do we do that? Remember, the diameter is 2 times the radius. So how do you get the radius? You just say the diameter divided by 2 will give you the radius. And then you go put that into your calculator. So 2 times pi times, now 15 divided by 2 gave you 7.5 centimeters. Pop that into your calculator. Please remember to look where pi sits. It's right at the bottom. And I think it's just, oh, might be right at the bottom or maybe somewhere in the middle. But you have to press shift to get to pi. So just note where your pi sits on your calculator. Right, and you get the answer as 2 times pi times 7.5 is 47.12 centimeters. Please take note that this is the circumference. We do not write centimeters squared, centimeters cubed. It's near a distance around that circle, the edge of that circle, and that would give you 47.12 centimeters. Now let's have a look at the area of the following shape. So the area of a circle. Can you remember the formula? <laughs> Think a bit. Say the formula of a full circle is pi times radius squared. Again, the radius, we are working with um, 7.5. Pop that into your calculator. Pi times 7.5 squared gives you 176.71 centimeters squared. Very important. The area, we're working with two dimensions um, we are squaring. So you are telling whoever is marking this, who is ever looking at this answer, that that is the area just by looking at centimeters squared. That indicates that that is the area. Let's quickly have a look at half a circle. And there's one thing that you must note with the circumference of half a circle. So let's have a look what they've given us. They've given us half a circle and they showed there the radius is two meters. Right, the circumference of a circle, think a little bit. We only know the circumference of a full circle. Can you remember what that is? Yes, two times pi times radius. But remember, that is of a full circle. So we know everything. We can go pop everything in there. The radius would be 2. 
So you're going to say 2 times pi times 2, and that gives you 12.7, sorry, 12.57 meters. Okay, we are not done. This is half a circle. So your next logical thinking will just be, okay, but I just divide my answer in two. Which you do do, but, okay, so because we're working with half a circle, we can divide our answer by two, but we are not finished. All right, so please note that if you take a full circle, if you draw it on a piece of paper and you erase the, the bottom half of it, what are you going to have left? So like I said, if you take a full circle and you cut away half of that, what would you have left? Right, you will only have that bow left. You do not have, like indicated on the picture that was asked, that diameter. So please note, with the circumference of a half circle, you always divide your answer in two to cut it in two, but very important, you need to add together to your answer the diameter to make that, that question that they've asked, that circle that they've asked, complete. Very important. Please remember to add the diameter. So let's do that. We divided our answer into 6.28. So now we're going to add. What is that diameter? It is 4 meters. So 6.28 meters plus the 4 meters gives you 10.28. And sorry, I should have added the meters. Please insert your units. Don't do it like me. Um, you have to indicate what units you are working with. If no units have been indicated or shown, you just write units. But in this case, they clearly marked it, said it's 2 meters, so please write 10.28 meters. Right, let's have a look at the area of a full circle. The area of a full circle is pi radius squared, but because we are working with half a circle, we need to remember to divide our answer in two. Yes, let's have a look. So your formula is pi radius squared, the radius is 2, so pi times 2 squared is 12.57 meters. And then please divide your answer in 2 because we are working with half a circle. And that is it. So the area you can just divide in 2 and that will give you that blue shaded part. So if you take a full circle and you work out half a circle of um, the area of a circle, you can just divide your answer in 2. You don't need to add anything like we did with the circumference of a circle. So then you will have 12.57 meters divided by 2 gives you 6.28 meters squared. Very important. Indicate your unit and indicate what you calculated there. We calculated the area, so it's meters squared. Let's have a look at an example, another example together. Okay, um, calculate the area of the shaded regions, which is the red part. Okay, so if you're going to work out this, you want to eliminate or extract or take away that white part. So imagine putting your hand over that and just calculating the whole circle, the whole big circle, the area of the whole big circle, and you're going to take out, you're going to extract, you're going to minus the area of the smaller circle to give you the red shaded part. Okay, another way of looking at it is drawing a big circle, cutting out in the middle a little circle in the middle and taking it away. All right, so you have to take, this is how we're going to do it. You're going to calculate the area of the full red big circle. All right, the area of the whole thing. And can you see there the radius is indicated as 60 centimeters. Then we're going to eliminate, we're going to subtract, we're going to minus the area of the small little white circle with a radius of 30 centimeters. Do your formula write up. The area is pi r squared minus the pi r squared of the big circle minus the one of the small circle. Replace your radius pi 60 squared minus pi 30 squared. 
give you 11,309.73 minus 2,827.43. And your answer then, uh, left of the red shaded area, is 8,482.30 centimeters squared. Please, please, please remember, remember your units as well as indicating what you calculated. We calculated the area, so it's centimeters squared. Okay, and that is it for today. I hope you will have a wonderful day. Please go do your homework quickly and have a fabulous day and we'll see you tomorrow again. Thanks, great nines. Cheerio.